Hi folks. Well, we're getting into the fall time and I made up a compost tea solution and the time has come to bottle it. Now I'm going to filter it first and then I'm going to pour it into some bottles to keep it for the springtime. So all I did for a filter basically was five gallon pail, made some holes at the bottom, have another five gallon pail. So I'm basically going to put the, the sludge and the liquid in this pail and then I'll take this pail and place it inside of this pail and then pour the mixture into this pail which will drain off into this pail and then I'm going to pour it into this container here and then from that container it's going to go into these old water bottles and then from the water bottles I'll cap them and I'm going to bring them to a friend of mine where he has lots of room in a warm place where they won't freeze for the winter and then in the springtime they'll be uh, ready to use for the garden again and then after I have all that done I'm going to actually fill this back up with some fresh water which is here rainwater and I'm going to put a whole bunch of other stuff in there from the garden some leftovers and let that decompose until the point basically comes where it's going to start to freeze and I'm just going to leave it I'll make sure I leave room with the liquid make sure I leave room here for expansion for the ice and then in the springtime it'll unthaw and it'll continue its decomposing process and I'm not going to run out of compost tea I'll have a, enough to have a really really good start so I'm going to get the process started I'm not going to film the whole thing what I'm going to do is give everybody little bits and pieces of, of basically how it's going and I'll tell you first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it all up so I have a nice even mixture of this you can see it the color distortion is going to take place here you can see the color distortion it's making I'm going to blend it all together real good so I make sure it's mixed nice and evenly and this stuff really really has a terrible odor to it like it's 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 putrid smelling but that's okay it all belongs to nature and nature likes nature so I'm going to bypass the older part portion of it and just mix it all together really really good you can really see the color changing colors here now the mixture's coming together nice and you can see all the stuff in there I can't just pour it into containers you can understand why I have to put it through that filter I just want to make sure it's all mixed together good and evenly and then I'll start the process and then as I'm basically going through the process I'll start the camera back up and show everybody okay so here's process one All right, I'm back with you. I got the first little bit poured in the jug. You can see the color of that. It's just extremely dark and extremely powerful in smell. And it's quite a process. This here is draining off. And what am I going to actually do with the rest of the stuff that's in there? This stuff is I'm going to pour that in the uh, one of the garden beds and let it finish decaying in the, in, the, in the soil. So I'll take the rest of the nutrients, that's whatever's in here, rest of the good stuff. It'll become part of the dirt and uh, kind of be you know ready for next spring. Somewhat already powerful soil. Okay, until the next round. Well, everything's going well. It's a slow process. You can see the barrel there. It's going down and level. And this one here is in the drainage moment. And I have so far one full 15 liter jug. And uh, during this moment of waiting, 
I was gathering up some other stuff for the next 45 gallon drum of rainwater. It's just some leftover things from the garden and some tomatoes that I didn't want to keep. Nothing wrong with them. I just had so many tomatoes and they were so big. All of them were so big that the little ones I just pretty much didn't worry about keeping. I gave so many away. And there's some decomposed cabbage down in there and I'll gather up all kinds of different stuff and just add it to it. Give it a refresh. And it's actually gonna have quite a bit of time to get a good, pretty good head start on decaying before the uh, real, real cold weather comes into the area where it's gonna freeze everything. I'm sure it may even almost finish its process, but this stuff here, is it ever powerful? My goodness. So my uh, dilution ratio is gonna be more than likely one gallon of this stuff, this compost tea, to about five, maybe six gallons of water. That's gonna be approximately how the ratio is gonna be, the mixture. So one gallon of compost tea to about six gallons of water. Again, of course, a good clean water, not tap water, either a well water or creek water or rain water or some other uh, source of water than, than tap water. I don't want to use the chlorines and all the other additives that's, that's in the, the, the tap water in most homes. So I won't be using that type of water. It'll either be just a natural water, whether it be from a creek or whether it be the rain or whether it be um, well water, just a natural all good water. I wouldn't recommend anybody to use chlorinated, fluorinated tap water, but you can use what you want. I'm just not going to. And I wanted to talk to you too also about the um, the the uh, the, the, pro the 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 uh, outcome of the garden with this stuff. And I didn't really use it all summer long. If I would have used it all summer long, geez, the results would have been even better. I'm sure. But uh, for the most part, the garden did excellent. The cabbages were about 12 inches in diameter. I had some tomatoes, they were about six inches in diameter. Very tasty, cabbages, very tasty. Peppers, hot peppers, the bell peppers and banana peppers, they all did very, very well. Um, lettuce and all the rest of it. Everything did really, really well. So I'm sold on the idea. There's no doubt about it. Even though to play around with this stuff, to go through what you have to go through in order to get the liquid from it, it's it's got some powerful smell to it. So if you can't tolerate powerful smells and it makes you wheezy in your stomach, then it's more than likely not for you. But uh, if you can get past the smell, wow, this stuff is really good stuff. But I'll tell you, it's smelly. All right, till next time. Oh, one more little thing. I'll show you what I did with the old sludgy stuff. I brought it over and put it on one of the beds. Here's some old tomato plants. I'll end up throwing that in the barrel, barrel too. There it is there. So I'll spread that around. I'll spread it around the dirt and then just leave it. And then the rain we get from, and the snow we get, and then when the springtime comes, all the extra juice and the rest of the rotting that's going to take place, it's just going to add itself to the dirt and um, make that soil that much more richer. All right, till next time. All right, well, so far I've managed to get uh, four 15 liter jugs, working on a fifth one. I couldn't stress I couldn't stress it anymore if a smell gets to your wheeziness you're gonna to want to stay clear of this stuff it's very very powerful very very smelly if you can tolerate the smell then I'd say you know give it your best but if you can't tolerate smells 
you better just stay clear away from it because it's got one heck of a smell. Some awful good stuff in there. You can just see how dark it is. It's the muddiest, murky looking water. You won't even find that in a mud puddle. There's some good stuff in, in that liquid, in that juice. Very good stuff. Concentrated at that. Not sure how many bottles I'm going to end up getting. Imagine I'm going to fill these two up for sure. Maybe, well, maybe even another one or two after that. So perhaps four more. Time is always the storyteller. Okay, I'll be back. Well, alrighty, folks, there we have it, all bottled and ready to go. I ended up getting um, five more jugs. Well, no, it was four more plus a little bit. That's what it was. So a total of 8 jugs and a little bit. Ready for next year's use. And I got the other batch going already here. I'll be adding much, much more stuff to it than what's in here already. Much, much more. But the process is beginning. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you have not. And thank you very much for those that have. And until next time.